Hello, my beautiful peeps. How are you out there? I hope you're doing well. As per usual, you know the drill. I have drawn a card from Rainforest Wisdom. I haven't looked at it yet. I have called in our higher selves and our spirit guides to bring through some messages to guide us for the coming week. I always intend and I ask our guides that every single person who listens to this video receives something. I expect that everybody resonates with different parts of it, but I ask that everybody receives something from our guides. So I hope that that's true for you. Let's go ahead and see what card came up for this week. Um, sorry, just having a moment. Uh, yeah, I knew that this is going to be the card that came up. I saw it earlier. Uh, so this is the card of potential. This is a green anaconda. And when this card comes up, it indicates that there's um, a lot underneath the surface of something that hasn't been fully revealed yet, or that something maybe that's coming up in our lives right now has a lot of potential behind us, behind it, that has yet to kind of unfold or be explored. So <laughs> let's go in with our guides here and see what messages we can get for this week. Mm -hmm. This is a week where we might be able to bring parts of ourselves that we we hold special gifts or talents or abilities that we don't get to use every day. And this could be a week where some of those gifts or skills are being called on to be brought out into the world for one reason or another. Maybe we are helping somebody with a project or maybe there's a piece of our lives somewhere that requires these skills where they aren't usually being used. So that's kind of fun uh, that we get to bring some of these things that maybe we don't lead with on a regular basis. We get to bring them to the table this week. And, and in a way that helps us express our full potential because we do have things that we carry that we are not sharing all of the time. It's a time to be unabashedly big. Our guides are saying, don't hold anything back right now out of, um, I don't know, maybe humbleness or fear that our bigness might make someone else feel small. This is a, a week where if you've got it, bring it. <laughs> bring it in its fullness. Let it be expressed. Let it be seen. Don't play small. The green anaconda is freaking huge. Like, if you ran into this snake in the rainforest, you'd be like, holy cow, that is an enormous snake. The only part of their body that you see when they're swimming are their eyes. But you can see in this photo, see, or in this picture, I mean, you can see how the body of the snake is under the water and the eyes are peeking out above. And that's showing that there is this, this you know, massive potential or this massive being, and it's it's only like peeking out right now. And this week we're being asked to slither that snake <laughs> out on the land <laughs> and let its whole body be seen. Let it be appreciated for how big it is.
Okay, now we're going in a different direction. Let me just ask how this is connected to what I was just talking about. Because they're saying that this is also a week that we might need to ask for support. Um, we might need to ask for others to help us to collaborate with us. Um, if we're bringing something, you know, we're bringing our unique skills, we're bringing our strengths somewhere, we might need to ask somebody else to bring their strengths too, so that we can work together to create something bigger than we could do alone. And what's interesting here is that oh, the way that I'm seeing it is that our, our, our potential is being called on somewhere this week. It might be from somebody else. Somebody else might be asking us to do something for them or, uh, you know, I don't know how, it, how it's sparked or how it's released, um, whether it comes from our own instigation or like, the world needing us to or the world asking us to somehow but regardless it feels almost like being unplugged and then like <laughs> okay how do I <laughs> what's something I can compare this to unplugged meaning like like we're full of something and but it's being but it's being plugged up somewhere and then when you take the plug out it starts rushing out and then you don't want to put the, like, it's hard to put the plug back in. It's almost like um, once something starts moving out of us, once something starts moving through us and it starts being expressed out in the world to the potential that we carry, we might find then, then it feels so good or it feels so inspiring that we don't want to put that plug back in. We don't want to throw this thing back in the back of the closet or you know, make it sit on the back burner. Maybe we want to bring this potential into our lives in a bigger way. And the energy of this week is just kind of giving us permission in a way or getting the ball rolling for us. A lot of this energy is really just about allowing ourselves to be seen for the full spectrum of who we are and what we carry and not making ourselves smaller than we are. Let me talk about or let me ask about some of the ways where we might want to make ourselves smaller and how we can um, help ourselves move through that. If somebody sees something in you, trust it. <laughs> because we could be telling ourselves stories that just aren't true about ourselves, about what we can, who, about who we can be in the world. And if somebody sees something in us, they, and calls it forward in us, you could feel resistance, but we're being asked to trust whoever is seeing us because it feels to me like whoever is seeing us in this, you know, situation sees us clearly. It's actually, we're the ones who might not be able to see it in ourselves. So if somebody sees something in you, Trust them. <laughs> this feels uplifting, by the way. This feels like somebody sees our potential. 
somebody um, believes in us, maybe somebody wants to take a chance on us, maybe somebody wants to invest in us in some way. Oh, and then we have the fear of disappointing people. That's what's, that, that's something that could be a little thorn in this situation. So let's look at that. If we really commit to something, we try as hard as we can, and we put our whole heart into whatever we're doing, that is never a failure. What I'm seeing is that true disappointment in this scenario is way more likely to be caused by shutting ourselves down and not allowing ourselves to try or telling ourselves a story about why we can't. That is disappointing. That's disappointing to us and it's disappointing to, to those in the world that, that see our true potential. So our guides are, are asking us to take a, a bet on ourselves here and to say yes to owning the potential that's in us and moving forward. Let me see if there's anything else here. Life is bringing in a lot of possibilities right now for, for the people in this group. And what our guides are saying is that we, it's our responsibility to clear our own lens, to clear our lens of how we see these possibilities and clear away the limiting beliefs and the, um, the old narratives that, that hold us back from being able to see our true potential? Let me ask how. If a possibility comes into our sphere and it's presenting itself to us here. It's there because we have drawn it in. Some of these possibilities might feel so big, uh, like they're too big for us. And our guides are saying, if that is a feeling that you get around something this week, um, how could I possibly, like, <laughs> you know, um, then you're in a good place because your guides are telling you, you're being challenged to step up, okay? You're being challenged to expand yourself into what you're fully capable of. And if you feel that resistance or if you feel that fear of expanding into your full potential, good. You're probably on the right track. <laughs> The only way that you wouldn't be on the right track is if you feel that fear and then shut yourself down and say that I couldn't possibly even try. Um, and, and even if that is how this goes, it's okay to have compassion with ourselves and understand that our growth will happen in the time when it's correct for us. But you're definitely being encouraged. You're being encouraged. So, here we go. I don't know. I don't, we, we very rarely pull this card. I don't even know if we've ever pulled this card in one of these weekly readings. It's a big one. It is a big one. Uh, like, I, I really hope that these messages land with you this week and that you take them to heart. 
And then when these possibilities and these potentials show up in your life, you have the confidence to say yes and to expand into your next up-leveled self. All right, everybody. Have a great week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.